What's happening guys, Martin Martin is back again. So this is a very quick video for you, just in regards to gym clothes. Now, personally, I'm not spending that much money on these things. However, working out and going to the gym has become part of my routine right about now. I believe I'm starting to see results. And as we start to see results, I want to have some type of feeling of feeling good while I'm working out. So it may not necessarily be necessarily I'm gonna wear um, particular brands as such. I'm not gonna get into brand loyalty because I don't feel it's necessary. But at the same time, you do want something which maybe you could say complements where you're going or what you're looking to to, to uh, achieve. You're not gonna wear clothes that are too baggy to the point that I've got an oversized t-shirt on. Some people do, oversized t-shirt, I can't see what I'm doing, can't see the muscles I'm working, can't see anything. So. Personally guys, again, I'm about five foot eight, five foot nine. I wear usually a large, and again, it's just my body type, slightly more endomorph um, type of body type. And I would say, um, based on what I've worn so far, these are my thoughts. Now, three brands you can see on there, Sinners Attire, um, Gymshark, and uh, Under Armour. Let's start off with Under Armour. Personally, for Under Armour, I don't particularly buy that many things anymore. Back in the day, back in the day, it used to be like the brand to go to before it was available in the UK. I'll just put some of the pieces up here so you can see what I've purchased. Um, but usually I stick with just the, the actual, um, not necessarily rash guards as such, but usually stick with just like some type of um, compression um, clothes from there. So it's gonna be usually for, for shorts, and then if not the shorts, then something underneath the shorts. So they have some very good, nice uh, patterns on their compression shorts, which I, I like to wear underneath the shorts that I'd wear usually to work out. Um, they give support, yes. Um, I think this brand is, again, it's not as notable probably as it once was back in the day when it first sort of came to the UK. I can't speak about America, but I know definitely in the UK there was a bit of a hype to try and get it when it first came out, but we're talking years ago now. Now, it's kind of so-so, not necessarily a stand-up brand as such that I would think of, but for compression shorts, guys, um, you know, from one to ten, I'd probably recommend, you know, at least at least a good, at least a good, at least a good eight. I I, I wear them quite often, um, but they can be the only downside to them from um, Under Armour is they car are quite expensive. That's one thing I'd say. If you're paying full price, sometimes you're paying thirty five pounds for one pair of shorts. Um, if you can get them, if you get them maybe online discounted, then try and do that. Okay, so that's number one, Under Armour. I'm not really rocking it too much. I only get the compression shorts from there. On to the next one. Next one, next one, next one, next one. Let's go with Sinners Attire. Sinners Attire is not a brand necessarily I'm fully aware of. Um, I don't necessarily know who um, has created this brand, but to be honest, again, just going off their shorts, these are actually on point. Um, the one I get is a two in one. Um, I've only purchased one pair, and I've also purchased a um, like a uh, sort of training top as well, a sleeveless. But the shorts, honestly, honestly, guys, you can see them on screen. These shorts, actually, um, they're quite well. Again, I'm, for my size and my height, I'm wearing large, and they do feel actually quite fitted. Now, I've only just purchased them. I've, wore, I've worked worked out in them probably twice. Now, if I were to wear them maybe for six months to a year, that might be a little bit different. But as it stands about now, the, the, the second layer is actually holding the legs. Um, and it's holding, um, you know, it doesn't feel uncomfortable, it doesn't feel like a stitching material. And then on top of that, the, the, the outer layer or the second sort of short does actually feel um, actually quite soft as well in comparison to something that you're going to use for the gym. Now, the only downside I say to these particular shorts is that they just don't have um, a um, extra pocket to put your phone in. Now maybe that's just me expecting too much. Um, cost of these again, uh, you can see on screen, so they're not necessarily cheap but they seem to be durable enough for the gym and actually quite happy with them. Um, so I actually would recommend them if you can, go and check them out. I think these guys have discounts. I'm not sponsored by these people, by the way. It's just my thoughts, but definitely, definitely, definitely check those ones out if you're into your gym wear and gym shorts um, because you can wear any top to the gym. You can wear whatever you want to do. But for me personally, the gym shorts is something that I like to have a particular type because I like it to not necessarily over time break away. I like to feel there's some type of support there when I'm working out. And the final, final one I'll get into, obviously is Gymshark is the big one, well-known uh, UK brand, obviously now at this point, guys, billionaire, everything else like that. Not hating. However, Gymshark for what I have purchased, going back over years now, is I've got some items which were probably about, you know, easily nearly probably if not 10 years old, where I feel the person, the brand is actually, 
I know obviously when it, the bigger the company gets, the more it has to be mindful of its cost. But for what I purchased, I purchased a few items. I've purchased uh, the shorts, I've purchased uh, just a vest. Um, stringers, I've purchased a few stringers, but I've not properly worn them yet because I'm, I'm still reducing my body fat percentage at the same time. It's winter here in the UK, so it's not necessarily stringer time. But I'm gonna say to me personally, yes, they're light, yes, you can wear them, but I kind of feel like the quality is just not there. And when I say quality, not in the sense of saying that, you know, they're not fit to a certain standard and everything else like that. And yes, if you were to purchase them, um, that's fine, but I don't feel there's anything cutting edge from what I purchased. And again, I'm just putting on what you can see that I purchased. I don't think there was anything that made me say to myself, this is really what I needed. So I paid probably a bit more of a premium because it was Gymshark, but at the same time, I just didn't feel when I was working out necessarily that I felt I was wearing, I could have been wearing anything. There's loads of brands you can get at this point now. And again, with the rise of the internet and social media, and you can buy stuff on Instagram, you know, you don't necessarily need to go with this. Some people like Gymshark just maybe more for the logo, the heritage of it, I, I get that. Um, but for me personally, I can wear them, I've got them, but I don't necessarily feel um, that I've necessarily gained anything by necessarily having this as a brand. I just want to feel comfortable, but I don't feel necessary, for instance, I could wear in a vest. I don't feel there's anything added to it to make me think, okay, this is slightly more tailored, or there's something to make me think, yes, I could just buy a normal T-shirt from Primark and feel that's more fitted to me than it is from buying something from Gymshark. So that's just my thoughts on it, guys. You leave your comments down below. There's not necessarily any criticism as such. Um, but you know, I would probably say if you are uh, getting to the gym and you're gonna try and look at clothes and stuff like that, maybe think a little bit out of the box besides Gymshark. Gymshark's not the only only one, and you don't have to spend as much really, to be honest, in this day and age, um, to look good at the gym. Um, so those are my thoughts. Ultimately, if I were to buy one and pick out the group, I'm gonna go with Sinners Attire. Personally, that seemed to be um, have a lot more a sort of fitted feel for me, which I like to feel when I'm working out. And guys, if you've got any comments, leave your comments down below. Don't forget, again, I'm starting off the Patreon very shortly. And I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and all that jazz. Peace.